Welcome back to the Boar Hat. Hope your day's going well. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like on this video. And today, I'm finally going to be wrapping up my reverse stage guide. I know this took me a while just because, uh, you know, making these videos, these reverse stage ones, I have to edit a lot of them. And uh, sometimes it's just, uh, you know, it's a bit, uh, it's quite a long process. But today, we're going to be doing Lioness Castle. It's the final stage. It's also the biggest stage. I think there's uh, six stages here. So, yep, yeah, without further ado, let's go into this and uh, show you guys how you beat them. Alright guys, so first fight of Lioness Castle, we do have Green Diane. Uh, as I usually say before these uh, reverse stage videos, make sure your units are built up. Of course, you do want to hit the uh, requirement, whatever it is, for the given stage. This is what we'll be using. We have to use Mono Red here, like, because she's green. If you use green, like, for example, Green Dreyfus, Green Hauser, or Green Gill, they're gonna get destroyed by her, she does so much damage, so you do need the tap advantage. The MVP for this uh, stage is gonna be Dreyfus. He's gonna be able to reduce her attack so he won't take as much damage, because trust me, uh, she hits you so hard. She'll probably kill you within two turns, and two turns is not enough time to kill her, so keep that in mind. We are using alt food, we are way over the threshold, so you know, even if you're free to play, you should have no issue reaching uh, 62,000. Gonna try kill her ASAP. We don't want anyone to die, and uh, yeah, other than that, let's uh, let's see how we do. Alright guys, so regarding Diane and her uniques, she doesn't have anything, you know, special per se. She just has a bunch of uniques that increase her attack and stuff like that, increases her defense, but pushing, uh, I think we push either Gil or Dreyfus ultimate, whichever one we can get. I think Dreyfus has the stronger ultimate, even though he's level 60, he does, he does have spike, so if he crits, He'll do double crit damage, which is insane. So we'll have to see what cards we get in this run. If you can't, uh, if she kills one of your units before you kill her, don't worry, just restart. Eventually you'll get it. It just takes a, a bit of RNG, unless you can do it first time, in which count yourself lucky. Uh, as I always say, I am going to speed up the footage here. I don't need to, you know, hold your guys' hand, tell you what card to use and stuff like that. What I do say is this card from Dreyfus, this is the most important card. Reduce her attack related stats by 20%. You really want to pull these so she doesn't do too much damage, especially on her ultimate man. On the turn that she has her ultimate, you really want her to be debuffed by this because uh, otherwise she's going to slap you even though we are mono red. Let's, uh, let's get into this. Alright guys, so as you saw, managed to beat it, but this was my second attempt, I had to restart. First attempt, I did not get any Dreyfus debuffs after the first turn, so uh, she quickly dispatched of us. Uh, obviously, you can see that the debuff does so much in terms of keeping you alive. Like, if you don't get that debuff on second turn, she will absolutely destroy you. She almost destroyed us even though we had a debuff the entire fight, so yeah, just keep that in mind. You're probably going to have to restart until you uh, get another Dreyfus debuff on turn 2 and stuff like that. Then you can just work your ultimates and uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go to the next fight. Alright guys, next fight in Lioness, we do have Gila, Hauser and Diane. Now, Hauser and Diane, they do uh, steal your ultimate gauge. They steal one, which means, you know, they'll take it off you and then add it to theirs. So, it can be pretty frustrating. I don't think, uh, yeah, this one can't, like, completely destroy your ultimate gauge like the uh, skill deletion does. But nonetheless, it is still pretty annoying. This is what we'll be using. Uh, red Gill, and then uh, Green Jericho, Red um, Red Helbram, and Dreyfus, doesn't really matter because you should never see him. If you do see Dreyfus, then you're not going to clear this three stars. And uh, yeah, pretty simple, just push our ultimate, destroy them one by one. It's not a hard fight, it just takes, uh, you know, just takes a bit of time depending on the RNG of uh, the end and Hauser, but it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go. Alright guys, since Gila is hidden and we can't target her, we're going to kill Dian first, then Hauser, then we kill Gila. It's going to be really easy to kill them, it really, uh, you know, it won't be too difficult or anything. It just, uh, depending on the RNG of Diane and Hauser, how many times they're going to reduce our gauge. It could, you know, stall out a few turns extra, but should be just fine. Let's go.
Alright guys, so that wasn't too bad, but one thing I did realize is that because <laughs> uh, Diane and Hauser attacked me so much, there was basically no point of me running alt food. Honestly, uh, you know, if you haven't tried this yet, please uh, don't use ultimate food, it's basically a waste. I basically beat it without food because uh, the ultimate food really didn't help me whatsoever. So yeah, use some attack food or if you're just below the, uh, the CC requirement, use some HP food or something like that. Use any food you want, you should be fine. Just kill Diane, then Hauser, then Gila. Very easy. Let's go to the next fight. Alright, guys, next fight we do have Blue Gotha, Green Diane, and Blue Hauser. This fight uh, has uh, quite a bit of shenanigans. Gotha is back with the skill deletion garbage, <laughs> and uh, Green Diane does seal your ultimate move gauge until you kill her. So, you guys already know we do have to kill Diane first. This is what we'll be using Green Gil for the buff and the AoE. Red Helbrum for the, you know, to deal with Diane really quick and to reduce ultimate gauge. And uh, Dreyfus, just because he's better than the, uh, the, the, uh, the red one for this fight, because the bosses all remove debuffs from themselves next turn. And just because he's green, he is going to do more damage. I am using attack food. There's uh, only a 13k gap. Considering I have all three units level 80, if you have all of them level 60, I don't think you hit the 70k CC requirement, but I'm pretty sure most people will have some levels on uh, Green Gil at the minimum, maybe even Helbrim if you played uh, Kingbrim in PvP. Use attack food, or if you're just under the uh, the CC threshold, use HP food, either or, I mean you could use whatever food you want just as long as you're above the threshold. This one, this uh, fight isn't going to be too difficult, it's just that Gotham might screw you around just a little bit with his skill deletion. But other than that, shouldn't have too many too, uh, too many issues, sorry. Uh, let's get into the fight. Alright guys, so as I said, our primary target is going to be Diane. Once we kill Diane, we can get ultimate gauge and stuff. Uh, the two blue units, I mean, uh, Dreyfus will be able to do good damage to them and shouldn't have too much of, a, of an issue, of course. Only issue is uh, Gotham might attack seal us and that would be, uh, you know, that would be quite the blow to be attack sealed. But, you know, you can't run a cleanser or anything, so there's really not much we can do here. We'll just have to take it on the chin and, uh, yeah, let's get into the fight. Alright guys, so as you saw, incredibly easy fight, uh, I should have killed Gotha after Diane actually, or maybe even first, just uh, you know, made us wait an extra turn or two because of his annoying debuffs, but the fight itself is actually incredibly easy, um, I don't remember it being this easy, but uh, yeah, we'll take those, let's go to the next fight. Alright guys, next fight we have Red Hauser, Blue King and Red Gila. now first thing with this, read their debuffs, King is immune to freeze, and Gila is immune to petrify and since we do have Helbrum and uh, what's his face again Gustav what we're gonna do is that we're gonna petrify King and we're gonna freeze Gila so that way we can uh, you know stop them from attacking us Hauser there's basically no point in um, freezing him because he does remove one debuff at the start of the turn but uh, yeah this fight is all about pushing your ultimate ASAP you don't want to take too long otherwise your you know your Gustav can take a lot of damage Use alt food, uh, you know, basically, what's that, About, uh, just under the 9000 CC over and I do have both of them level 80, so maybe, you know, if you had some levels on them and you use some HP food, perhaps you'll get past it or something like that, but it shouldn't be too bad to hit this requirement, it's actually pretty generous for only 2 units, in my opinion, of course. Let's get into the fight. Alright guys, so in this fight, generally the play is, on turn 1, whoever's ultimate that you can push, you're probably going to want to push their ultimate just to make your life easier. I mean, you know, the two red bosses, they can do damage to your Gustav, but they shouldn't do too much damage to where he dies before you kill them. So yeah, just remember that you can petrify King and that you can freeze Gila. It's not the other way around, so just keep that in mind. Hauser, there's no point in uh, petrifying him. You can freeze him if you want mid-turn before an ultimate to do extra damage if you have a two-star or a three-star freeze. But uh, yeah, in general, this fight is, uh, is pretty easy. Let's get on with it.
Alright guys, so done with that. I did forget to mention that King does have Blue Fat King's Unique where he heals 15% of his max HP at the start of every turn if he takes damage. So that's why it did take a few extra turns to kill King, but generally, very easy fight, no issues. Let's go to the next one. Alright guys, second to last fight in uh, Lioness Castle, we do have Blue Arthur, Red Merlin and Red Meliodas. Uh, there's nothing too special going on here, so this is what we'll be using. Red Gill for the Taunt, Vivian, uh, you know, there is no other Vivian that I can choose. And then we are going to use Blue Hendrickson, just because two of the bosses are red. And even though he is level 60, he's going to be able to do good damage, so that's why I picked him. Uh, I mean, I have two level 60s here and one level 80, and I'm comfortably above the threshold. So for you guys, it shouldn't be too hard to pass 67k. Now, I'm using Ultimate Food. Just so I can get ultimate quicker, because you guys know, the faster you get your ultimate, the more damage you're going to be able to do, stuff like that. So, you know, just make my life easier. Let's get into this fight. Alright guys, so generally for this fight, you just want to, you know, kill the two red units first. Just because it's going to be a bit easier to kill them, because Hendrickson is going to be our main damage dealer. But, you know, other than that, there's really nothing special. Just watch out for Meliodas' counter. And uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Let's, uh, let's beat this. Alright guys, sorry I went AFK for a few seconds at the start of the fight because uh, you know I had a delivery but yeah, pretty simple fight really, nothing too special, just kill Meliodas first, if you get him to low HP and then he uses his counter you're gonna have to ignore him or something like that unless you're sure you can kill him so yeah, kill Meliodas, kill Merlin, then kill Arthur, very easy stuff, let's go into the final fight. Alright guys, on to the final fight of Lioness Castle, which I think this is definitely a top 3 hardest uh, reverse stage fight. We have Elizabeth, Diane, Barn and Meliodas. Uh, Elizabeth is extremely cancerous. Once you kill her, she heals back 35% of her max HP and she can also delete your skills, which is absolute BS. You guys already know that. Also, the CC requirement is incredibly high. I put on some food that doesn't give me any stats, like this uh, meat pie just gives me XP gain. Uh, literally just 100 CC over the gap. I do have a level 80 Dreyfus who's 6'6 six, six, and I do have a level 60 Hendrickson who's 1 out of 6. So uh, yeah man the margin is pretty tight even for me just because I don't have blue Hendrickson leveled up. You definitely do want to use him because Elizabeth has to die first. If she doesn't die first you're in for a long night. Obviously the rest of the units are green however this, uh, this Dreyfus he can help you out a bit, damage them. You could use the red Dreyfus but you know if I use red Dreyfus I'd have to use that like, HP food or something like that. To uh, be over the threshold, which I do not want to do. I'm just going to have some attack food. Elizabeth needs to die ASAP, and uh, that's pretty much it. After you kill her, just work your way on the other units. Be careful of Meliodas. He does have a counter, and uh, should be fine. Let's uh, let's see how our, our luck goes with this one. All right, guys. So obviously, the only reason why we want to kill Elizabeth first is not only does she, you know, revive herself. Not only does she randomly remove your skills but she heals back and this is very cancerous she even attack seals a single unit so you know she really does have to die first uh, the others uh, I guess you can pick and choose whoever you want I think I'd go for Meliodas just because of his counter if he does put it up and he's uh, got some uh, you know some damage on him already just focus Diana or whatever and then focus Barn and so on and so forth you can use Dreyfus to uh, seal Barn snatch if you want to do that but other than that, just, uh, you know, hope that RNG goes your way and uh, good luck with this uh, really difficult fight. Let's go.
Alright guys, so very very good RNG, this was my second attempt, I had to, you know, try again because the uh, first one I accidentally attacked Meliodas when he had low HP and he uh, he killed my Dreyfus, so yeah, but anyway, that's going to be it for reverse stages, I've covered every single fight, every single town of reverse stage, I'm going to make a playlist if you guys want to, you know, you know, if you guys want to watch that. I'll put a playlist up on my channel, it was 4 videos, I predicted I'd need 5 but turns out 4 was enough, so thank you guys very much, uh, if you found any of these videos helpful, I'm assuming if you've watched any of them, you probably do need help, or maybe you just watched it because you know, you're my homie and you like my videos, uh, share with your friends if they are struggling with reverse stages and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, thank you very much guys, uh, and I'll see you in my next video, take care.